Hello class 41 Orange Group. Mr. Waterman here with today's language arts lesson on Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. I hope you all have had a great day studying and that you're doing safe and well. Okay, so you had a test to take yesterday and we are going to go over the answers to both pages that start on page 133 finishing on page 134. So please check your answers as I go through them. If for some reason you did not take this test yet, please pause this video, take the test, and then check your answers. Okay, let's begin. So for part A, you needed to complete each sentence with an adjective from the box below. And you had to remember to capitalize any proper adjectives. Okay, the adjectives were reddish, Atlantic, British, lonely, and Ohio. Number one, my dog gets lonely when he's by himself. Two, I gathered shells on the sandy Atlantic shore. Three, my dog's hair is long and reddish. Four, we live in a little Ohio town. Five, the librarian's voice sounded British. Okay, when you have checked your answers for numbers one through five, let's look at part B. For part B, you needed to choose the group of words that best completes each sentence. You had to circle the letter of your answer, of your choice, and then you had to write them in the blank. Six. B. I brought home a fluffy white kitten. Seven. A. The house was warm and cozy. Eight. A. Her dog is large, brown, and shy. Nine. This book contains common Spanish words, which is B. Spanish is a proper adjective and we needed to capitalize the S. 10, A, the car had yellow New Jersey tags. Okay, no comma is needed. When you're finished, please go on to the next page. For the second part of the test, you needed to read the sentences below. Then you had to find the adjectives that were not written correctly. You needed to rewrite the sentences on the lines below, correcting any of the mistakes. Please check your answers as I go through them. Remember, if you didn't complete this page yet, pause the video, take this part of the test, and then check your answers. Number one, a guide dog helped the blind young man. No comma is needed between blind and young. Two, they walked through the sunny Arizona city. Arizona is a proper adjective. It is the name of a state in America. Number three, the dog stepped over a prickly cactus. No comma is needed between the adjective and the noun, which is cactus. Number four, my dog likes to eat Mexican food. 
Really? It's Mexican food? Good for a dog? Anyway, capitalize the M because Mexican is a proper adjective. Five, he's a funny, kind, and helpful dog. We need commas after funny, kind, and we need to put the word and in before helpful. And that's it, students. I hope you did well on this test. Now, let's go on to today's lesson. This is one of my favorite lessons. It's on articles. You already know what these are. We are going to be working on pages 135 and 136 today. Okay. We have four bullet points, so please follow along as I read each one. Okay. Point number one. The words a, an, and the are special adjectives called articles. I'm going to underline that because some of you may not have known that these three words are indeed special adjectives. Point number two, use a and an with singular nouns. Okay, remember singular meaning one. Point number three, use a if the next word starts with a consonant sound, okay? Consonant sounds, words that start with B, C, D, F, and so on. Point number four, use an if the next word starts with a vowel sound. Vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. A, E, E, O, U. Okay? We are going to go through the directions. It says to complete each sentence by writing the correct article, A or N. So on this page, we're just going to be using these two articles. I'm going to underline them. Okay? I'm going to read each sentence. Please follow along. Number one, Felipe was blank, spoiled child. Two, he was upset because he had lost blank arrow. Three, the arrow had landed in blank well. Four, Ranita, the frog, had been put under blank spell. Five, Felipe tried to think of blank excuse not to keep his promise. Six, he had promised to give Ranita blank kiss. Seven, he was hoping it was all blank bad dream. Eight, blank wise woman had cast the spell on Ranita. Nine, Ranita didn't think blank brat like Felipe would make a good husband. 10. Pepe's kiss changed her from blank ugly frog to a beautiful princess. 11. Both Felipe and Granita refused to get blank glass of water for vieja sabia. Don't you love these Spanish words? Number 12. 
The viceroy believed that even blank important person had to keep his promises. 13. Blank Viceroy has many things to be concerned about. 14. Juanita wore blank old hat that belonged to her grandmother. Now let's do a few of these together. 1. Felipe was a spoiled child. The S in spoiled is a consonant, so we have to use A. Two, he was upset because he had lost an arrow. A-N, because the word arrow starts with an A, and A is a vowel, okay? Number three, the arrow had landed in a well. Okay. Number four, Granita the frog had been put under a spell. So remember, number three and four, the words well and spell. They start with consonants, so we use A. And let's do one more for good measure. Five, Felipe tried to think of an excuse not to keep his promise, okay? We use an because the E in excuse is a vowel, okay? Please do the rest on your own. When you are finished, please turn the page. To page 136. Okay? Now, we are going to focus on the article, the. Okay? In addition to a and an. Point number one, use the with singular nouns that name a particular person, place, or thing. For example, the school, the train station, the convenience store, the car, the supermarket, okay? Point number two, use the before all plural nouns. The boys, the people, the cars, the desks, the books, okay? For the directions, read each sentence. Put one line under each article. Put two lines under the noun that each article points out. Very easy activity. I'll show you how to do this, of course. But please listen as I read each of the sentences. One. The arrow was golden. Two. Felipe thought Ranita was only a frog. Three, everyone must keep promises, even the children of kings. Four, Pepe feared it would be a long night. Five, Ranita thought Pepe would be the best husband. Six, Felipe ordered Pepe to kiss the frog. Seven, 
Ranita was an unexpected guest. Eight, the servants didn't like Felipe much. Number nine, Vieja Sabia taught both children a lesson in manners. 10. The Viceroy argued with his wife. 11. Ranita was actually a Mayan princess. Number 12. Felipe refused to go to the wedding of Ranita and Pepe. 13. The frog was hopeful for a change. 14. Pepe wore a long cloak. 15. The townspeople did not know the frog. 16. One guest had an overnight bag. Excuse me. Okay. Now let's do a few of these together. One. The arrow was golden. Okay. One line under my article, which is the. And now I'm going to put two lines under the noun that it points out. That noun is the word arrow. Number two. Felipe thought Juanita was only a frog. One line under A, which is our article, and two lines under frog, which is the noun that the article points out. Okay? Three. Everyone must keep promises, even the children of kings. The is the article. We put one line underneath it. Two lines under children of kings. Four. Pepe feared it would be a long night. One line under A, which is our article. Two lines under long night. Okay? Please do the rest on your own. Okay? Remember, just one line under the article and two lines under the noun that it points out. And that is it. If you have any questions, please email Mr. Waterman. Okay? Remember, we are in the last few weeks of school, so you all want to finish up strong. Thank you to the students and their parents who have scanned your completed homework assignments and emailed them to me. I'm able to print them out, check them off, and give you credit for completing exercises. Those of you who have not sent me anything yet, remember, it's never too late. Sending something, sending something is better than sending nothing. And with that, I will see you in the next videos. Wednesday, which is tomorrow, is going to be your mathematics video, okay? Be sure to tune in for that because that is going to be a review because next week you will have a test. That's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye for now.